Hey guys, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today, and of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. Anyway, today's flashback movie is the Street Racing Action Fest from 2003, Too Fast, Too Furious. In this sequel, ex-LAPD officer Brian O'Connor and his friend Roman Pierce go undercover for the US Customs Service to apprehend a drug lord in exchange for the erasure of their criminal records. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Directed by John Singleton, with a screenplay by Gary Scott Thompson, Michael Brand, and Derek Haas, Too Fast, Too Furious was released by Universal Pictures in June 2003, with a running time of around an hour and three quarters. The movie was filmed in Florida with a budget of around $76 million, and went on to bring in more than $235 million worldwide. This sequel focuses on ex-police officer Brian O'Connor, who relocates from Los Angeles to Miami to start over. Becoming involved in the street racing scene in this new city, Brian befriends Carl Savitej and Suki, but his competitive streak ends when federal agents apprehend him and he must enter into a deal with the FBI. Working with new partner Roman Pierce, Brian begins a dangerous mission to take down a powerful drug dealer. The former Los Angeles cop Brian O'Connor, who became a fugitive after letting Dominic Toretto escape, has now settled in Miami, was played by the late great Paul William Walker IV, who was born in California in 1973. Walker began his career as a child actor in the 80s, going on to gain recognition in the 90s after appearing in the television soap opera The Young and the Restless, and receiving praise for his performances in the comedies She's All That and Varsity Blues. However, his role in The Fast and the Furious was definitely his best known role, though he's also starred in the likes of Joyride, Eight Below, and Flags of Our Fathers. Brian's childhood friend Roman Pierce, who is on house arrest after serving time in prison, which he still blames Brian for, was played by actor and singer Tyrese Darnell Gibson, who was born in California in 1978. As a musician, Gibson released his self-titled debut album in 1998, with his next two albums coming in the early 2000s. He had his first starring role in 2001's coming-of-age Hood movie, Baby Boy, before taking on this role, going on to star in Four Brothers, and played Robert Earps in the Transformers franchise, as well as appearing in Ride Along 2. The ruthless Argentinian drug lord Carter for Rome, whose organisation the Customs Service sent Monica, Brian and Roman to infiltrate, was played by American actor Cole Hauser, who was born in Santa Barbara in 1975. Hauser made his movie debut in 1992's School Ties, which starred many young and up-and-coming actors such as Ben Fraser, Matt Damon, Chris O'Donnell and Ben Affleck. And he followed that up with Days and Confused, also starring Ben Affleck. Since then he's appeared in Good Will Hunting, A Good Day to Die Hard, Olympus Has Fallen and Transcendence. Brian's friend Suki who is also a street racer, was played by actress and fashion model Devon Edwina Aoki, who was born in New York City in 1982, but grew up in Malibu. Her father was former wrestler and Benihana restaurant magnate Hiroki Aoki, and she started modelling when she was 13, the same year her godmother introduced her to Kate Moss. Following her runway debut in 1997, Devon has worked for brands including Balenciaga, Comme des Garçons, and Chanel, and in 1998, at the age of 16, replaced Naomi Campbell with the face of Versace. The stunningly beautiful actress, model and businesswoman Eva de la Caridad Mendez was born in Florida in 1974 and played the part of US Customs agent Monica Fuentes, who was working undercover as Carter Verone's aide and becomes Brian's love interest. Eva's acting career began in the late 90s with a series of roles in movies such as Children of the Corn 5, Film of Terror, and Urban Legends Final Cut, but appearing in the movie Training Day, 
Denzel Washington marked a real turning point in her career. She's been in a relationship with Canadian actor Ryan Gosling since 2011. Ryan's friend and race host Tage Parker, who arranges high stakes street racing events, was played by rapper, actor and record executive Christopher Brian Bridges, professionally known as Ludacris, and born in Illinois in 1977. Bridges formed his own record label, Disturbing the Peace, in the late 90s, and then signed with Death Jam South, going on to become one of the first Dirty South rappers to achieve mainstream success. As an actor, this is his best known role, but he's also appeared in other movies including Crash, Gamer and New Year's Eve. The street racer Slap Jack was played by American actor Michael Brown who is professionally known as Michael Ely, and was born in Washington DC in 1973. Ely started his acting career in the late 90s, appearing in off-Broadway stage productions, with his first movie roles coming in the likes of Bad Company and Kissing Jessica Stein. His breakthrough role came in 2002's Barbershop, in which he plays reformed felon Ricky Nash, a role that he reprised in the 2004 sequel Barbershop 2, Back in Business. The street racer Orange Julius was played by actor and producer Amory Nolasco Garrido, who was born in Puerto Rico in 1970. His movie debut came in Takeshi Kitano's Brother, going on to appear in this movie and co-starring opposite Bernie Mac in Mr. 3000. However, Nolasco is perhaps best known as George Fig Figueroa in Transformers and as Fernando Sucre in Prison Break. The US customs agent in charge of the operation against the road, Agent Markham, was played by longtime American actor William James Remar, who was born in Massachusetts in 1953. Remar has played numerous roles over a 40 year career, the majority of them being villains. He's perhaps best known as Ajax in The Warriors, Albert Gans in 48 Hours, Jack Duff in Miracle on 34th Street, and Richard Wright in Sex and the City. Remar's more recent roles include Frank Gordon in Gotham and Peter Gamby in Black Lightning. He's been married to Atsuka Remar since 1984 and they have two children. Agent Bill Kings, who Brian first met during his undercover work in the first movie and who has also come to Miami, was played by former actor and producer Tom Barry, who was born Tom Gross in Ohio in 1950. Primarily a supporting actor, Barry appeared in television commercials for The Home Depot, Sears and United Parcel Service, as well as providing his voice for TV shows such as The Incredible Hulk and The Wild Thornbirds. However, he is best known for playing Detective Will Jeffries on the TV series Cold Case. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel, you know you want to. And remember, it's free!